so first of all thanks uh, kaizen and mahesh sir like for giving me this privilege to do a webinar session i have like some experience in this line so i was working in a small studio inksect uh, as a 3d journalist so most of the things are done in small and big way where you get some opportunity to work with people and like very good clients will get some work so in this webinar i'll be like showing you how to work in the team and how to make a effective demo reel so that we'll be able to crack in the industry so yeah first of all yeah i'll definitely start off with my demo reel hope you can see my demo reel here i think so i think this you can see my video here my sir this video is there okay So yeah that's it this was my demo reel the recent one so here i can show you some of my projects and some of my like instagram works like most of the stuff i usually put in like instagram so that you know to expand your work and your contacts and everything so here i'll show you some of my recent like old works these are like my really old works like this if you can see and i'll show you some stills so these are my works in like 2017 works like it was very basic i was getting started and i was knowing some 3d stuff so i was exploring every way possible as a student you should always be like inspired to go and learn like whatever you can right now because this is the only time where you can find so many things in the industry you can do like modeling texturing rigging or anything you want to do so these are my like old stuff and yeah this was my kaizen project as you guys might be knowing i am also was in kaizen so this was my project i got a certificate for this one yeah i'm definitely proud of it so yeah these all modeling stuff and yeah these are the models i'm creating hello yeah these are the models i've created in 2020 so yeah uh now i think i'll show you my studio work so when i started as a 3d journalist i started in a small project which was from act to popcorn you might be knowing it so this was a small work so there was like a series of act to sessions like one was caramel this one was rock salt we have to do some animation and some simulations liquid simulation as you can see some particles dynamics and finally the product packaging and here's the third one and more work for be natural product this everything modeling texturing rigging camera animation everything was done by me and this was the second product for like be natural watermelon juice 
this was for a logo animation it was hotel mumbai it was so this was for the purpose studio this was just a logo animation of it so yeah you can do definitely variety of works in this industry you can explore many ways you can do this is the work from deloitte yeah so now i think i'll go back to my ppt and start explaining like how i started and how everything works around in the industry so yeah definitely i've seen my work these are all my works like which are being done these are my works like you can see so yeah this was my 2017 work definitely not so much interesting but yeah definitely you can learn from like if you are getting started then you should start somewhere so now getting to 2018 i'll start modeling more stuff uh like buildings and some wires getting more detailed stuff then in 2019 yeah in, i was in kaizen i got a certificate for this one also and yeah this is 2020 i'm working in a studio and i'm making some models some concept art and yeah so like first thing is like explore the industry like you should know where are you actually like first time i went to the studio i like, i was like i was i wasn't knowing like what should i do properly because so many things and so many works were going on so i can see some people working in the fx industry some were pe some people were working as a modeler so there were different departments so you have to find like which department or like which industry you want to get fit in like there are like gaming industry there are like, there are movies there are cg animation industry so you have to explore and you have to find out where you properly fit in so this was the movies and vfx like this is the like primary prime industry so like most people are getting into movies and vfx so you can see like green screen everywhere so movies and vfx are basically meant to make photo realism things so that it will merge with the like real world these characters like if you'll see hulk the anat anatomy as like properly done like it it has a human touch to it you can properly feel it and all the characters all the backgrounds like everything it's there like it's a proper composition which will make you feel it's real so movies and vfx are this kind of uh, thing next on like we'll move into like definitely movies and vfx as i told you you can see this is a reference of you jackman and this is a cg render it's really hard now most experts will definitely find out what what are the differences in this like which is cg and which is real so movies and vfx is totally making photo realism stuff moving on to cg and animation you'll see some animated movies here and there so many disney movies are out there like recently i watched uh, spider man verse so there are like combinations you can see you can see 3d proper 3d movie you can see 2d movie and you can see combination of both like in spider man verse you can see a combination of two things like there is a 3d character and there is a 2d shading to it and some 2d feel to it you can work this way like you can work in this cg and animation industry as a proper 3d uh, guy now moves on to motion graphics and commercials now this industry has like combination of everything which i'm more into it so in this you can make a proper cg artwork you can make a explainer video or like motion graphics animation 
you can make logo animation you can make sketchboards and you can make a vfx shot of it so there are like small small portion in it and this all combines to motion graphics or like vfx or like commercial so and this is like new in the market definitely ar and vr so i want to clear some of the things like in ar and vr like this augmented reality and this virtual reality so augmented reality is something which you use on your phone like if you use a like uh instagram filter so you can see some ears and some mustache on your face so that's definitely a ar thing if you interact with it then it will be called a mixed reality so you can interact with it so it will be a mixed reality thing like these are things like which are mostly used in medical science automotive industry and like you know uh, medical industries like if an inverter for example is broken you can search the search or analyze like which part of it's like it's not working then you can definitely work it out and see the uh, make solution and the final is vr so vr is the virtual reality it's the experience which you get from it like you wear a device you have have some gadgets over it uh, you'll some have gadgets you'll interact with it you can play you can paint so many stuff you can do so yeah unreal engine is getting more developed these days so i i'm sure you can try all those 3d applications